founder of Grecot, is now Thomas Henry Grecot. Um, he got invited to join a, a, a newspaper out in, in Grahamstown, and he worked for them for about three years. He started his own paper up in 1870, and um, still going strong. The newspaper was Grecot's Mail, of course. The print shop started where Woolworths was, and then they moved down in about 1880 to those premises. Burnt down 1905. Um, there was a fire where Clicks was and burnt it down and um, got rebuilt in 1906. And then my late uncle and dad took over and then I took over. His name's William, William Jeffrey Grocott, and uh, they called me Jeff. Grocott's all of us are called by their second names. I was born in Grahamstown, 1937, and I've uh, lived here all my life. That's, that's William Vincent Grocott and Thomas Hugh Grocott when they were young. Um, the wedding picture of, well it's not, it's a family portrait really of, of the founder with his wife, um, his son and the two ladies who built the house, Aunt Emma and Aunt Ida Grocott, they were spinsters and my dad, long curls and my late uncle. This is my wedding photograph of my mom and dad many years ago. The helmet which my late father used in the Second World War. He was in the Battle of Alamein and all that sort of thing. He was away for five years. When he came back, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who this uncle was. <laughs> I don't look at it, um, I'm going to put in the name Scrocott to do with Scrocott's mail, you know. It's, um, it's, it's Grahamstown's newspaper. I was walking down High Street, believe it or not, and um, those days were just mini skirts, you know. <laughs> so I met my wife. And I was walking behind this pretty lady. And she had lovely legs, and I was, you know, you know, it's lucky to look at a pair of legs. And um, went up there one day and uh, asked her if she'd like a drink. So that's how we met. So uh, we got married in the magistrate's court. Um, um, it took eight minutes. You now you walked in and you walked out, sort of thing. And uh, I still remember meeting a friend of mine outside because I was dressed in a suit and he said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get married. And uh, when I came out of the magistrate's court, I could still see him walking down High Street. That's how quick it was. It's either 48 or 49 years, something like that. It's, uh, it's been a long time, but it just seems the other day. My wife looks after me very well, I must say, so all the cooking and that's it. We compromise on everything in our lives including the domestic work <laughs> that we share as well. I think his, his nature and his personality was, uh, stood him in very good stead, still does in fact, and uh, he had hands on in everything and his um, treatment of customers, his reaction to queries and complaints etc, I think he dealt with it very, very well indeed. That was good fun. I enjoyed, enjoyed the work and I met a lot of very nice people. And I think um, the public all loved him. So do I. <laughs>